All right, good morning, happy Monday. We are four days out from opening, from launch day, which is happening on Friday, which is crazy to think about. It's finally here. And there's a lot of things I have to do in between, uh, mostly product description updates, picture updates. I have to put a post about sizing that I'll talk about in a few seconds, and a bunch of other stuff. So basically the issue with sizing is originally, why is it so dirty? Originally, we wanted sizes extra small to 3XL. The first manufacturer we were working with was okay with that and also offered a very low MLQ, which is minimum order quantity. We thought it was great, almost good, too good to be true, and we found out why. Because after three sample rounds and just insanely bad communication, we had to drop them out. I was losing too much money in the thousands from their simple mistakes because they're making, and you know, I talk about it in other studio vlogs, but they're making mistakes that they shouldn't be making at this point. The thing that broke the camel's back is when one of my employees commented, hey, you did the bra completely different than what we asked for. Are you gonna provide another sample? Or are you gonna refund us? And then he just blew up on her on an email saying that our design is stupid, it's complicated, um, why we would do that, you know, we did what we thought was best, but what you thought was best was an old design we had. If they thought the sample, well, if they thought the design was complicated, I would have no problems altering it, you know, but they didn't give us that chance, so we had to go to someone else. And the new person, the new manufacturer, has much better quality, stellar communication. They're be, they're awesome. However, they're not very keen on doing seven sizes in their lowest MOQ option. So unfortunately, we have to make this, this we, we had to make the decision to you know remove sizes X to small and 3XL for the time being. So we do want to bring back these sizes in the future. So hopefully with the next launch, because with the next launch, I want to start rolling out the basic items we're gonna have in stock all the time. With these designs, I don't think I'm gonna keep them long term. I think this is like a one-time thing because contrast stitching, even though it's nice, it's um, it was honestly very experimental for a first launch. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do the reverse and do basics. Something I also want to do is I want to shut down the site and I was thinking about this overnight and I think I want to shut, shut it down between Wednesday to Friday because I am going to use another theme which is basically a website template on Shopify. So I think it's better if I gave myself two and a half days to work out kinks rather than one. I think I just need one day but you never know. The reason why I want to switch themes is because this theme that I found lets you showcase you know variations nicely and i'll show y'all in a second when i show a little sneaky peek of the website but i definitely want to shut it down in the time being i think actually maybe i'll do yeah i'll do wednesday because i gave people the deadline to set up for the newsletter on by wednesday no the, the discount code will be sent out wednesday so i'll definitely shut it down Wednesday. They can still sign up for the newsletter because I'm going to allow newsletter folks to an early access by half an hour, maybe an hour. Because the people who want the yellow set is a lot more than expected, and I don't think we can keep certain things in stock. So I want to keep. I want to give people who actually, you know, did something. I want to give them the opportunity to try it. Try to grab it. It's Wednesday and there's a few things that we have to do since we're two days out. So one, I'm shutting down the website. I'm putting a password protected site um, to give me a chance to update the template as I mentioned before and to make sure everything's looking clean. I'm also gonna send over the discount code for the launch. It's gonna be running for two weeks. It expires March 3rd, I believe if I remember correctly. 
and also giving newsletter folks early access by half an hour. <clears throat> I'm pretty shocked with how many people sign up for the newsletter. It's about 156 right now. Let me see, actually. Yep, 156. I also posted the apology about the sizing issue. I haven't really gotten any backlash. I did get a lot of people unfollow me, but it's expected. I mean, I get it. What are you gonna do? Okay, so this is the newsletter. It's very simple. Um, originally, it was just up to here, but after adding the early access, I put it down here. Something I wish Mailchimp had, maybe I can't find it, is I wish you could highlight just a portion of the text. I'm sure there's something here that can do that. I just can't find it. I'm gonna tinker with it for like five minutes. If I can't find it, it is what it is. And I'll just send it out. Oh, and I also put a notice on Instagram stories about the early access given and like, okay, I already sent out the code, you snooze, you lose. But if you still want early access, you can sign up. Hi, it's Thursday, one day before launch day. Do you want to see a little sneak peek of the website? All right, so as a FYI, let's not save that. The template is called Impact. I think it was like $350, but I think it looks great. Especially this newsletter pop-up. I mean, clean, I love it. So let's exit out of that. So, Here's the website, the top navigation scrolls with you, which I love. We have a little trending section here. And I like this theme a lot because I love when, when you hover over an item, it shows another picture. So that's great. I do have to edit this picture um, to make it a bit smaller because if you see like these other three options, the other two options, it's a less, it's less zoomed in. So that's a quick fix I can do tonight. Simple uh, text with icons, and here's these sections. I just wanted this site to be really quick and to the point. Instagram feed. There's a option that you can upgrade with this. So if you click on it, you can tag the the item. So I might do that, especially when I start to get influencers and people tagging me and whatnot. And also a newsletter and simple footer. And also, I love the scrolling info tab, tab, info chart line thing, whatever it's called. You can make a standstill by like that scrolling to catch the eye. Oh, and let me show you an example of what I mean that all items have a note about being a, be, it being pre-order. So there's a quick example. So pre-order items should be by mid-April. I was debating on putting a sticker that says pre-order. I might do that because you know how people are. You gotta like treat people like they're five years old. Give them all the information again and again and again. So with the product description, I put it pretty basic because people read more with the eyes over the text. And this is what I meant about the variations. I love this here. You can make it say something else. I just put all options to make it to the point. You can put colors. If you want, I also have a pre-order section here as well. I might do a section in the front page with this info as well. I think it'll be a good idea. 
and this is a uh what is it typically called on other websites more options or also available by labeled it but wait there's more to make it a bit more fun yeah very 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 clean i'm loving this and i also tested out oh you can also put this here with this theme loving it so let me show you an example of the shipping okay so in the car i put another note about pre-orders all clothing pieces pre-order i also got a lot of interest from people not in the u.s so i did not know this was part of this theme but there's an estimated shipping so oh my god i don't know any codes but i tried it last night and it works the pricing for shipping not too bad. I was impressed. So I'm pretty happy with that. I might ask a friend in Canada their thoughts about the shipping rate just to, um, just like just in case. Because I'm not really knowledgeable about international shipping. I know it's like super expensive, but I don't know like what the typical, you know, gauge is with rates. But yeah, pretty clean and to the point. It's launch day. And did you think I was going to show this? You have to go to the next video. So we're going to stop here. I'll see you in the launch day video. Take care.